think I spy some green coming up out in the garden. Let's go check it out. here in this mounded row we've got carrots mixed with radishes and the idea behind that is that when the radishes are ready to pull I'll pull them out and that'll make room for the carrots so that I don't have to pull as many young carrots and I mean they wouldn't go to waste we feed them to the chickens or something we do something with them but I just hate pulling carrots and then having to discard them when they're not the right size so Planted radishes with the carrots and hopefully that'll work out. And this is a half a row. Over here, right here, we've got room for our sweet potatoes to go in June. It's too cold, of course, for sweet potatoes right now, but probably around June we'll start planting when it gets starts getting really hot. We're gonna move the chickens again tonight. I think down here, and he's mowing a path for our fence to go around. So you have to have the fence, you have to have the grass really short for those electric fences. But in this row, right along here, are our green beans. They're not coming up as well as I thought they would. There's two that I can see have really popped up. One's not even looking very good, which is weird because I soaked the beans overnight, which the seed packet said to do. So I don't know what's going on with them. And that was like... I don't know, five days ago that I planted them. So I don't know what's going on with them. Everything else is in the greenhouse. Let's go check and see how those seeds are doing. Charlotte found a mullein plant down by the creek and she pulled it up for me and brought it up and planted it in my garden. She knows I really like mullein. Speaking of mullein, last summer I did a short series on medicinal plants that you can find around your garden or your homestead. We have um, a playlist of those. They're called Pharmacy Fridays. And there's just a few I might, if there's any interest, I might pick up that again this year and do some more. Um, last year I just kind of stopped with the baby and everything. So, oh my goodness, look at these dandelions. Crazy! Well, if we don't grow anything else, we'll definitely grow dandelions. This is our okra. Um, we didn't plant too much just because we do like it, but sometimes it just kind of gets out of hand and we don't use it. Um, so I don't want it to go to waste. We um, usually plant it in the garden, but with it, just the weather being kind of weird as it has been and it turned cold um, so I just wanted to get it started in the greenhouse and get it ready to go so that when it is time to plant then it can just go out in the garden and be ready um, our sunflowers are doing really good we have some other flowers coming up I need to water some of this stuff but none of our I don't see any of our tomatoes or peppers coming up oh uh, in the last video you guys saw where we plan on putting our pigs in our woods over here there's a lane between these trees that used to be a road a long time ago this used to be a pig farm and before that there was a road going like our our we are on an actual ridge and that ridge used to be a road so it goes right through there and that's where we plan on having our pigs there's a lot of hickory and oak out there and so they're going to be out there, but in relation to where our house is, so here's our house, and then the lane is right over there. So it's far enough away from the house to be presentable, so they're not right up next to the house, but we can still keep an eye on them, and hopefully it won't, hopefully it won't smell or anything. But we can still watch them and enjoy them being there and and keep an eye on them so they don't get in trouble. Over right up next to this area right here is where I want to put our pumpkin patch. I really love the idea of having a pumpkin patch and I love growing pumpkins. They're probably one of my favorite things to grow. But we also want to focus on 
growing some really nutritious food for our animals this year to kind of offset costs, but just to also give them um, give them a well-balanced diet. So over there we're going to grow our pumpkins. Jeremiah's moving the fence and Jeff's helping and all the chickens are out. I just love the sight of all those chickens out there. Just being chickens out in the wild. I wish we could keep them, I wish we could let them free range. But we have too many predators for it. So it's for their own good really that we keep them in the pen, but it is really neat watching them out. Doing, doing what chickens do. All right, so here's a little better view. Here's the house. And then right over here is where we're gonna have the pigs. So a little better view so you can kind of get a gist for it. House, pigs, chickens currently. And then somewhere right over here is where we're gonna have the pumpkin patch. All right, so our Cornish Cross meat shakes are doing really well in the tractor out on grass. And we're gonna move them, I think this is the third time on grass that we've moved them. Um, they're eventually gonna go into the same field as the layers are in. We're gonna end up splitting them up into a couple different tractors as they get big, big enough. Um, but tonight we're just checking on them and moving them a little bit. This is my picky. Look at their feet. Their feet are humongous for chicks. It's crazy. And guess what? What? They're more grown up. They are grown up. Nope. But not grown ups. No, not yet. But grown up. Yeah. Not grown up. Grown up. Yeah. Grown up. <laughs> All right. Let's go put it back. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're gonna go check out our comfrey. I noticed that it's growing really big with all this rain that we've been getting. So we're gonna chop it down a little bit and put some in the compost. Um, it's a natural green fertilizer, green manure, and it's really good for breaking down compost piles and also mulching around fruit trees or uh, mounded vegetables and flowers and things like that. So we're gonna put some in our compost today and get it heated up, get it turned over and ready for next year. Mom, do you watch? Mom, do you watch a holy um come and see them? Oh, really holy? Yeah, holy yeah, holy. Oh, let's leave it there so they can have a house though. That shelters them. Oh, there's a lot in there. Yeah. It's already starting to grow flowers. We don't want that. No. So we're gonna snap those off and it'll make the leaves grow a lot bigger. So this plant was given to me by Jeremiah's aunt, and when I got it, it was just a couple of these leaves and a little like root ball. So I planted it last year and it is humongous. I mean, there's like several plants. If I divided this, it would be several, several plants. So right now we're just going to take off these flower heads that are starting so that the leaves will continue to grow and we can continue to harvest cuttings from it. Yeah. 
Yeah. But not the flowers. Yeah, we want to take the flowers off because all that energy that goes into making flowers will go to making the big leaves if we take off the flowers. Don't pull them out like that. Look. Just take one at a time, okay? Yeah. See, watch me. See, just pick it off like that, okay? Yeah. Bo, you want to do one? Oh, this is humongous. Mommy? Yeah. Dad. So, there we are. I suppose it would look a lot nicer if I didn't have the little selfie, but that's okay. I like them to be in here and helping me out and experiencing all of this too. Do you like helping in the garden? Yeah? <coughs> Do you like helping in the garden? Yeah? <laughs> Thanks for coming along with us tonight. We just kind of wanted to give an update on everything that we have going on. Get everybody up to speed on what's going on around the farm. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Say bye bye. Bye. Uh oh. Not really what I meant, but take the leaves out. <laughs>